Good morning, Tony. How are you? Very well, Gus. And how are you? I'm very, very well. Tony, thank you so much to come to our show, The Leader Talk. Uh, you know, you always been someone that I consider a mentor. You you guide me for for you know for the start of my career. You 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 take me under your wing. You introduce me to a lot of people when I was studying in the building industry, and I will never forget the values that you teach me. And I'm so glad that you're coming to the to the leader talk show now, Tony. I, uh, you know, I know you for a long time, but obviously the audience have no idea. Maybe most of them um, have no idea of your experience. Would you mind to introduce yourself and uh, uh, and and also your personal interests, so we all know uh, why you are coming and why I want you to share your insight. Well, Gus, thank you. Uh, and I'm coming. I'll, I'll answer the last question first. I'm coming because you asked me, and as, as you said, uh, we've known each other a long time, but uh, I'm currently the chairman of Bataki Small Goods, which is one of Australia's biggest uh, small goods manufacturers. Uh, I'm also on the board of a number of other organisations, including the National Housing Finance Investment Corporation. I chair Abalone Victoria, so I've got meat and fish, so that's uh, fantastic. Uh, before that, as you know, I spent 10 years as the uh, CEO of the Urban Development Institute, which is where you and I met. Yeah. Uh, before that, I spent three years as a trade diplomat in Milan, Italy. Uh, and before that, I, I had a frontal lobotomy and became a politician. I was Deputy Chief Minister of the ACT for a number of years. So my career has been uh, different, diverse, interesting, and uh, I'm delighted to be here with you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you so much. You know, Tony, when I talk to you, even through through this camera, you know, your energy, your kindness, you know, it's very difficult not, not to feel it because I experience uh, the way you help others. And uh, uh, as you know, the intent of this leader talk is to bring insight to small and medium business across the world, especially during this challenging time. Uh, if you can pick one topic that you will bring in our future show, what would be the topic that you passionately share with all of us uh, that you know will drive the performance of any business? Well, I'm passionate, you've used the word passion. I'm passionate about people and I'm passionate about people that are persistent and perhaps uh, that uh, in, in, encapsulates your relationship with me. I liked, you as a, I liked you as a person because you were passionate and because you were persistent. And that, that passion and persistence has meant that you've reached the heights that you've reached now. And, I, and it's not rocket science. I think if you believe in people, you're passionate in your belief with people and you're persistent, uh, you, you should succeed. Okay, thank you so much, Tony. So let me summarize this because this topic is something that I'm very passionate. What we will be talking about when you come to our show in the future is how persistent, passion, and resilient matter in every business, especially during this tough time. And you will share with us some of the insight, example, in many countries, many businesses that you lead in the last so many years. Yes, I mean, and it's, and it's not just in business, Gus. If you look at things like sporting pursuits, like anything that you put your mind to, unless you're passionate, unless you get on well with the people around you, and unless you're persistent, you're not likely to succeed. And you think that uh, no matter whether it's a small business, whether it's a big business, whether it's a church group, whether it's anything, you've got to have those three Ps passion about people and be persistent about it. Oh, Tony, we can't wait to have you on our show. I'm very thankful that you're coming to our show. Once again, Tony, you help a lot of people. I witness this myself. You know, I, I will never forget the fact that you invite me and you will love this, Tony. You invite me to a group of Italian developers Italian club developers, and yet I'm the only one non-Italian, and you make me welcome. You introduce me to a lot of people, and for that, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I'm still saying thank you today. You are meta, and I can't wait to bring you on on my future show. Thank you, Tony. You have a great, great day. You too, Gus, and thank you. Look forward to it.